Tuberculosis, also known as TB, is caused by a bacterium called Mycobacterium tuberculosis. The bacteria usually attack the lungs, but TB bacteria can attack any part of the body, such as the kidney, spine, and brain. If not treated properly, TB disease can be fatal. TB is spread through the air from one person to another. TB bacteria are put into the air when a person with active TB disease of the lungs or throat coughs, sneezes, speaks, or sings. People nearby may breathe in these bacteria and become infected. Tuberculosis is one of the world's deadliest diseases. According to the CDC, one-third of the world's population is infected with TB. Each year, over 9 million people around the world become sick with TB. Also each year, there are almost 2 million TB-related deaths worldwide. TB is also a leading killer of people who are HIV-infected. In 2009, over 11,000 TB cases were reported in the United States. Not everyone infected with TB bacteria becomes sick. As a result, two TB-related conditions exist. The first condition is latent TB infection. TB bacteria can live in the body without making a person sick. This is called latent TB infection. In most people who breathe in TB bacteria and become infected, the body is able to fight the bacteria to stop them from growing. People with latent TB infections do not feel sick and do not have any symptoms. The second condition is the actual TB disease. TB bacteria can become active if the immune system can't stop them from growing. When TB bacteria are active, it is called TB disease. People with TB disease may spread the bacteria to people they spend time with every day. For persons with weakened immune systems, especially those with HIV infection, the risks of developing TB disease is much higher than for persons with normal immune systems. Since TB is spread from person to person, all healthcare settings need an infection control program designed to ensure prompt detection, airborne precautions, and treatment of persons who have suspected or confirmed TB disease. To learn more about detecting and preventing exposure to Mycobacterium tuberculosis, please visit the website shown on the screen. IAQ-TV, the place to be.